hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com my name is jason newland this is relax and sleep hypnosis daily please only listen when you can safely close your eyes now i'd like you to get yourself comfortable if you're going to sit down, then make sure that you're sitting in a comfortable chair that supports your body. Or if you're lying down, maybe on your bed or flat surface such as a sofa or something like that. Remembering that you can change your physical position anytime you choose because being comfortable is the object this recording. Now I'd like you to just get in touch with how you feel, how your body feels. I'm just going to do a quick scan. I'm just going to mention the different parts of your body and then you can just notice how each part feels without trying to change how it feels. Just accepting it, observing and accepting. So we're going to start, first of all, with your head, starting with your scalp. Just noticing how your scalp feels. The top, the sides, the back. Noticing how your ears feel. Maybe in order to get in touch with the feeling of your ears, you may need to, you know, crunch your face up a little bit. Move your jaw around. It helps me to wiggle my ears sometimes. Now noticing how your forehead feels. Your eyes. Your jaw, mouth, teeth, gums, tongue, the rest of your face, your neck, your throat, the sides of your neck, and the back of your neck. And if you keep going down the back of your neck, moving all the way down to the bottom of your back, just notice that area where your spine is and the muscles either side of your spine. Just notice how that feels. And then moving out from your spine, notice how your back feels, the whole of your back top, middle and your lower back. Focusing on your shoulders. Just being aware of how your shoulders feel. Are they tight? Are they loose? Are they heavy? Just noticing and observing, not trying to change or make them relaxed. Just noticing. Focusing on your arms, the top of your arms, the your elbows, your forearms, your wrists. Just noticing how they feel, the muscles, the bones. Is there any particular feeling? Maybe if you've got a short sleeve shirt on or a t-shirt, you might notice the air on your arms, the temperature of the room. As you do maybe on your face. Now focusing on your hands. The tops of your hands. The palms of your hands. And your fingers. The joints of your fingers. Your knuckles. Maybe even your fingernails. And 
now focus in on your chest. Just notice how your chest feels. Your chest and your stomach are two parts of your body that are, are constantly moving, even when you're sitting and lying down, because they move when you breathe. Just notice how your chest feels. Muscles, just that whole area, including underneath your arms, your armpits, and the sides of your body where your chest is. Those muscles that connect your chest to your back muscles. And then noticing how it feels as you move your focus down either side from underneath your arms all the way down to your hips just the sides a part that sometimes won't even get mentioned in a relaxation session but a part that I think is just as important as any other part especially when you consider in our day to day life the amount of twisting and stretching we do. Just picking things up or turning around to look, uh, you know, when you cross the road or whatever. And you're using your sides so often. Your armpits, whenever you use your arms, your armpits are being moved and used as part of that process. But it's almost <laughs> like a hidden area constantly in the shade as it were now focusing on your stomach that area just below your ribs all the way down to your navel so above and below your belly button just noticing how that part of you feels. See, my belly takes up about 80% of my body because I'm so huge, I'm like a big walrus. But it doesn't take any longer to notice and to focus and to observe any part of your body. It's just it's already there, you don't have to do anything, just notice how it feels in this moment. And now we're going to focus on your lower back. I know I've already focused on it, but that connection between your lower back and your hips, where that sensation moves into your buttock area and the sides as well the sides of your hips that whole area that's very much connected with muscles and used constantly when we walk in as i said earlier stretching twisting that area is used even getting up and out of a chair or changing your physical position when you're lying down or sitting down is you're twisting and you're moving your lower back it's such a precious part of the body and it's a part of the body that's in use so much during the day just noticing how it feels Noticing your sitting muscles. Then you can keep going and noticing as your buttocks end, the backs of your thighs, the sides of your thighs begin. And of course the thighs, probably the strongest muscle, the strongest part of your whole body would be your thighs. taking the weight of your body 
It's such a strong area and it's used so much. But it, it doesn't seem to complain. As much as maybe some other parts of the body might. It just does its job. And maybe because it's used so much, the thighs are generally kept in good condition. The muscles don't get a chance to get weary or weak when they're used regularly. But they still deserve and need a chance to relax. And as you move to the inside of the thigh, noticing the feeling there. And then move into the top of your thigh. That whole area of all those different muscles interconnected. Which do such a great job. And another area, part of the body uh, that we perhaps don't take too much notice of is the back of your legs. The, the back crease, you know, opposite your knee or behind your knee. Constantly being used, constantly being stretched, twisted and used in the process of walking. Just notice, you know, notice how that feels. Oh, I almost forget it's there. Because it's, you know, like my armpits, it's kind of hidden. But unlike my armpits, it doesn't smell. So my armpits remind me they're there. Use deodorant, they tell me. Now you focus on your knees. Just noticing how your knees feel. Another part of you that's just possibly in some cases overworked. It's amazing the knees do such a phenomenal job. Such an amazing job. And it's not the strongest part of the body by any you know in any way. But it does a phenomenal the way it helps you hold your body. The balance helps with balance, helps with so many different things. So the knees also need to relax. Although, you know, we're not aiming to relax them right now. We can just focus and notice how they feel. I had a dog run into my right knee today and I really thought that it injured my knee and as I was you know, sitting there in pain holding my knee I started to realise just how um, how reliant I am on my knees I need to look after them. So from your knees you can move down to your shins. And even though the shins basically look like protective almost uh, armour They don't feel that way. It's, well, for me, I don't know about you, but for me, the shins are quite a sensitive area. 
you know there maybe it's because the bone is so close to the skin and it is a great protector of your lower leg but it doesn't it doesn't feel how I kind of I would imagine it would feel by looking at it looks like it would be really strong and really tough and it wouldn't nothing, nothing could hurt me but the shins seem to be quite very very gentle parts which also need to be looked after so just noticing how your shins feel And then as you move to the sides of your lower legs, to the outsides and the insides, that area that then connects to your, the backs of your legs, your calf muscles. Another part of your body which is used a lot or just as much as the thighs every time you use your legs you use your calf muscles how do, how do they feel now just as you observe them Now moving down to your ankles. Again, I won't repeat myself, but clearly a very much used part of your body. And considering, again, it's similar to the knees, what the ankles do and what an amazing job they do and how these, and they're not very big things, how they manage to support a whole body, the weight of a body, is almost miraculous, really. And then you move down to your feet, the very backs of your feet, the heel, and you've got the tops of your feet. Which leads to your toes. Then there's the bottoms of your feet. With the arches. And then you've got the padding of course. Which then leads to your toes again. <coughs> the same toes obviously. And it's, al it's almost like the, the body was created. You know, almost like it was made in some kind of a, as an experiment in perfection. Because everything works so well. And it doesn't look like a good design. Little ankles, sometimes little feet, big feet, large body, depends, we're all different and these legs and everything gets thinner as you go down so as you go down your body's wider and you get down and everything becomes less wide after your hips and your legs and your ankles and your feet yet it all works and aligns perfectly when things go well. And sometimes I get, into, I get into this little zone of, it might sound strange, but I want to thank, I want to actually say thank you to my body.
And you know, gratitude is a powerful thing. When we say thank you for what we have, instead of focusing on what we don't have or what we want, when we actually take the time to be thankful for what we do have, there's it seems to release a, a positive energy into your body and into your mind. And in the same way, thanking your body can do the same thing. Because your body is amazing. And I realise there may be parts that don't work so well. I've got a few issues. My lower back, my shoulder. <laughs> my brain isn't great at times. But, and my right knee's a bit sore. But that was a dog's fault. Or you could say it's my fault for standing there while a dog ran at me. But as I talk about the body, I genuinely get this sense of appreciation for what I have. Because ultimately, the body is working well enough for me to be alive, which means it's working really well. Room for improvement, but a lot of that would be down to me. Maybe losing weight, eating more healthily, finding a time machine so I could go back and stop myself from eating all those burgers when I was in my 20s. That, that sense of gratitude just feels like it's arisen naturally. And that wasn't what I was going to talk about during this recording. But that's what I'm feeling. So I'm going to go with it. And maybe you can join me in just saying thank you. Not out loud, in your mind, to the different parts of your body. But only do it if it feels, you know, if it feels okay. If it feels weird, then, you know, you do what you feel right, is right for you. Or you could just go along with it anyway. Because you may have noticed that your body has already relaxed. I've been talking for... 24 minutes and your body naturally relaxes when you hear my voice your mind slows down maybe some people listening would have dozed off to sleep partly because that's what they needed to do they were relaxed they were tired and that's the purpose for some people listening to this Others may have just got really bored and fell asleep for that reason. So I thought it would be quite nice for us to end this recording by actually thanking each part of the body. So what I'll do is I'll introduce again the different parts like I did before. And I'll just say thank you. So focusing on the top of your head. Uh, thank you. And then I'll move on to the next part. Just notice how you feel when you say this. Because I find that the... It's almost like every part of the body you have... It's got a little little bubble, which when you say thank you, it pops that bubble. No, it's no bang or anything. It's like a, you know, like a, a soap bubble or something. But instead of having soap in it, 
it's got this energy, positive energy, which gets released, almost seems to give that part of your body and you more freedom to be able to think more clearly and there's a freeing experience comes from it which I may not be able to put down in words because I guess it will be personal to each individual as we go through doing this Each time you say thank you to that part of the body, it releases, and pops that little bubble and it releases that energy into your system and you can feel it. It's positive, it's healing, it's relaxing. And maybe there's other feelings that you'll experience, all positive, life affirming and pleasurable. So starting with your scalp, focusing on your scalp, and I'll say thank you, and then maybe you can say it after I've said it. So focus in on your scalp now. Thank you. Focus in on your forehead. Thank you for what you do. Focus in on your eyes. And I'm going to extend the words because thank you doesn't seem enough. I want to actually say thank you for what you do. Thank you for all that you do. So I want to actually, as if I was talking to a person, thank you for all that you do. Because let's face it, no human being is ever going to give us as much or help us as much as our own body does. Our body devotes every second of every day of our life to serving us. No human being will ever do that. No other human being could do that. So doesn't each part of your body deserve, you know, a good old thanks, thank you, genuine thank you, so focusing on my eyes, thank you for all that you do for me, my jaw, mouth, tongue, teeth, the whole area, Thank you for all that you do for me. Focusing on your ears. Thank you for all that you do for me. Focusing on your neck, your throat, the back of your neck, sides of your neck. Thank you for all that you do for me. And I'm going to focus on the inside of the neck. You know, the whole process of the throat, and that whole area where you, you know, without it, you won't be able to breathe. You won't be able to eat or swallow food. So I'd like to thank that area, that whole, all the whole thing from your mouth, your nostrils, going down your throat, the whole area that keeps us alive. Thank you for all that you do for me. Focus in on your shoulders, your arms, and your hands. 
thank you for all that you do for me. Now focus in your chest and your back, your upper back. Thanking you, not just for the muscles and for the helping with the whole, you know, being able to stand up straight and to walk and function, but all of what's inside the chest, the lungs, the heart, all of those major organs that we depend upon, that we never have to do anything in order for them to work. We don't control them. And they look after us every second of every day. Thank you for all that you do for me. Now focusing on your stomach the whole of the area of your stomach, not just the muscles, but all of the internal organs of your stomach. Too many bits to mention really, but the obvious would be your digestive system. Thank you for everything that you do for me. Now focus in at the top of the back of your neck, all the way down the middle of your back, to your lower back, your spine. One of the most important parts of your body. What the spine does is beyond phenomenal absolutely amazing what it does for us, what it does for us and has done for us every second of every day of our life, automatically, never asking for anything, never wanting anything. Thank you for all that you do for me. going to give special uh, special attention to my lower back because that's a part of me that I have some issues with which has made me more aware of the importance of firstly looking after yourself especially when it comes to lifting heavy things and being careful with your parts of your body with the deterioration of my back I'm starting to appreciate not just what it does now but all the things it's done for me through the last 50 years of my life so this, I guess this is a personal to me but the lower back is so important to all of us you know that connection between your torso and your legs with the hips you know in the middle so focusing on your lower back thank you for everything that you do for me now I'm going to focus on the buttocks the bum area now of course there's the obvious internal stuff um, you know th the end the exit from the whole digestive system which is well it's just there's no there's no words to say how important that is so 
I'd like to thank that area. But there's also the buttocks themselves. So it's so important for when we're sitting. So you know, they, they it's just like it's the body's produced in a way that serves us. So I can sit here making this recording and I'm not sitting on bone. I've got this padding which makes sitting more comfortable. My stomach agreed then. So I'd like to thank that whole area, the buttocks and of course everything inside the whole abdominal region that leads to that area. Then focusing on the groin. Quite a useful area at times. Extremely useful for some things, like, you know, toilet things. A part that we perhaps don't necessarily want to mention, but the fact is, hugely important. So I'd like to thank that part of me for everything that you do. And everything that you used to do that maybe you don't do quite as often. Now focusing on your legs thighs, knees, shins, and I know that I gave this area quite a bit of attention earlier in the recording. So I'd like to just give all of the legs, you know, all the way down to your ankles. I'd just like to say thank you for everything that you do for me and have done for me. And lastly, as far as the body goes, I'd like to focus on the feet. Again, when you actually break it down and look at each individual part of your body, you realize that every part is important. There's no unimportant parts. It's all relevant and it's all important. So focusing on my feet, my toes, I'd like to say thank you for everything that you do for me. I'd now like to focus on my mind and thank my mind. Thank you for everything that you do for me. And lastly, I'd like to thank my brain, the most important part, the control center. Without the brain, there'd be nothing else. Nothing would work without the brain. And it doesn't ask for anything. It's there to look after you for your entire life. From the second, before you're even born in fact, your brain is keeping you alive and giving you the things you need. So I'd like to thank my brain. Thank you for everything that you do for me. Thank you. And 
there's one piece I, that I did miss out, which I need to focus on. The skin. Our skin. Again, the skin keeps us alive. It protects us. It's so easy to forget how important our skin is. So I'd like to thank my skin. Thank you for everything that you do for me. And overall, I'd like to thank every single part of me, every bone, every blood vessel, every artery, every hair. Thank you.